a lot of folk would say that the police report doesn't kind of jive with what the video says. Talk about that. Does a it ever? Bit. You're being very polite by using the words doesn't jive. Um, I believe it's full of falsities, irregularities, and um, well, tell as me the we speak. Report. First of all, identify yourself. Tell people. My name is Tony Garcia. I'm with Bates and Garcia, 201 North Charles Street. Okay. Uh, we're one of the uh, prominent criminal defense firms and civil firms in Baltimore City. We were glad to take this case on. One of the things that you mentioned, a key word to me that you mentioned, and I'm going to answer your question about this police report, sure. is you've mentioned the word witness. And while we all focus in on the savagery of this officer attacking the young man, we need to take a moment to look at the other two officers. We have another officer standing behind holding Mr. Truss's arm so he couldn't even put his arm up to protect his face. And we have a third officer, the supervisor. Mm -hmm. Understand me. The supervisor, because he has those little red bars on his shoulders. He's witnessing all He's this. watching this. These officers, both or either, could have stopped this when it happened. They could have stopped it when the supervisors arrived. I they mean, a referee would have stopped it after that uppercut. Absolutely. They got, our client was maced. They could have stopped it. They drug him into a, trans, a van. They could have stopped it. They could have stopped it before this officer wrote this report under penalty of perjury. He takes an oath when he writes that report. And he lied. Those officers signed off on that report. That, to me, is ridiculous. That's not. That's horrible. Are you are you suggesting that this is a conspiracy to defraud, if you will, uh, what what actually happened? Because obviously the penalty of perjury is a very big stick over top of the police department. Yeah, they have a lock police up for lying. <laughs> <laughs> well, this police report at the bottom of the very report it says, "I do solemnly swear under the penalty of perjury," and he signs it before he submits that report. And these officers here not only watched it but stood silent. You could say one officer assisted by holding the other one's arm, but the other stood silent. And I think you know the story of what happens when good men do nothing.